What a surprise. What a shock. <laughs> Wait, what day is it? Never mind. It's not a shock. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Ah. Uh. Sweet oh, 90s man. vibes. Oh, yeah. The kind <laughs> red. The kind red. Yes. <laughs> and the worst, like, MS paint, uh, fucking spray paint, uh... <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, that's do. fucking oh, yeah. awesome. Look at that. Oh, yes. That's right. Police Quest 3, rotoscoped sprites. Sunny Bones! <laughs> Sunny Bones! <laughs> It begins! It's Police Quest 3, everybody. We just finished Police Quest 2 last week, and it is time to get into my personal favorite in the Police Quest series, because it was my first Police Quest 3. Now, have okay, you guys now. played this? Whoa, 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 whoa! Hold on. Composer, <laughs> Jan Hammer, Jan the Jan Hammer? Holy the... shit. One, sorry, sorry. Hello, Go I'm Jin Walls, retired California pol highway patrol officer. With Police Quest, you're not just watching some movie star portraying the glamorous part of police work. As Detective Sonny Bonds, you're the man behind the badge, you see. <laughs> it's up to you to learn and follow correct police procedure to make the right decisions in life and death situations. <laughs> in real police work, you must know when to be a hero and when to rely on caution and use some of the incidents <laughs> in Police Quest 3 are based on actual events that occurred during the course of my career. I managed to survive them. Let's see if you can do it as... Hey, here's the score you're about to be walking into. <laughs> The scene, not the score. <laughs> Lytton, once a quiet and police, police fulfilled, <laughs> has been growing like a weed. This new industry, good jobs, and a decent standard of living. Unfortunately, progress is not without its side effects. Poverty and crime are now going up as fast as a new cultural center. Homicide detective Sonny Bones and his wife Marie are still on honeymoon <laughs> high from their wedding a few years back. Yes. Yes. Marie's got a good job at Oak Tree Mall, and the two have a beautiful new home. Home? Sonny <laughs> <laughs> uh. Bonds has become Luke Skywalker in Return of the Jedi. He was promoted <laughs> Detective Sergeant with Lytton Police Department. As the story opens, Sonny's just finishing his sergeant's training and is back on Jota. Jota. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Overburdened as the department is, he's been assigned to the traffic division for a bit. Seems the traffic's always understaffed. <laughs> Nobody likes to work it, apparently. Anyway, that's Sonny's life, and it's a good one. Worth protecting. And now it's time for you to assume the role of Detective Sonny Bound. I happen to know you're in for a heck <laughs> of a day. <laughs> Whenever you die, get prepared to see me. You'll see me a lot, and me pointing at you. Pointing at your crotch, With my leg. <laughs> Awkwardly hoisted up on the side of this police patrol car that we borrowed for an afternoon while we took this photo shoot. <laughs> Showing you my crotch uh, and pointing at yours. Yes. Here so, we are. No, he's getting smaller. smaller. The, the uh, many times renovated Lytton police station. Every, every <laughs> year, looks like, yeah. Here we are. This is the sergeant's ass. <laughs> the sergeant's ass. Be an outbasket appears there's something in it. Yes. Uh, so the point that Matt was making shortly before uh, we uh, met with uh, Mr. Wells uh, a moment ago was oh, yes, right. The, the music for this game was composed by none other than Jan Hammer. I can't forget the composer. That. For Miami Vice. That's so goddamn exciting. Um, <laughs> the fucking star power in this game, man. I know. Or in, in, like, Sierra back in the 90s. Like, these guys, they were rock stars. They could get anybody. It's, it's crazy. It's incredible. It's a departmental disciplinary action form with a note attached to it. At the same time, uh, not not too far after, I guess Police Quest 3 came uh, around the same time as Quest for Glory 3. Uh, and then they had like they got like John Reese Davies to be the voice of the uh, narrator in like Quest for Glory Four and stuff like that. There was a point in time when they were really going out of their way to get like star power to come in and do voices and things like that, and and just sort of share their talents with uh, with Sierra. So <laughs> it's it's fun to then, see this. I mean, 
Yeah, and, and then it all most fucking Sierra fell games apart were, like a house of cards. Yeah, <laughs> most Sierra games were 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 uh, Seabird, of course, but mm. uh, not this one. Not this one. Okay, departmental disciplinary action yes. form. The note from the lieutenant reads. Bond, please interview of Officer Pat Morales regarding a complaint. The complaint alleges that the officer used profanity and verbally abused him during the issuing of a citation. Determine disciplinary action, if any, based on your interview. Leave this form on my desk when you're done and do a dance. <laughs> now, you never meet the... Uh, the um... Uh, the boss here, but I thought that this might be a uh, good old Dooley, actually. Oh, really? From so, now on, yeah, I'll, I'll you, give I'll give a Dooley. Well, you may have missed one of your only chances. He's never here, <laughs> so. So now, yes, being the sergeant, I have sergeantly duties. And uh, like any good police uh, procedural, the first thing that I need to do is go to a briefing. Oh my and God. in this case, since I am the sergeant, I am running the briefing. How I missed it. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh right. we, are so, we are so legit. Yeah. That's Officer Carl Law. Carl's a real law man. Cut up. Cut up. Sorry. Drawing attention to you, Officer Law says, Her bad metamorphosis from good guy to sergeant was a real experience. Ah! Ah! Referring to the Academy, Carl says, Welcome back from the Palace of Pain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's Officer Kevin Miller. He's one of the old school cops. Can we get on with the bracing, Sarge? I've got a date with the cop. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now, what a, what a I'm coach. interested in seeing... The voice that you come up with uh, from Morales. Make it a good one, Matt, because know, we spend I a lot know. of time with her. <clears throat> the female officer is Pat, Pat, Patrick, Patrice, Patricia Morales. You hear you she's go. a tough cookie. Cookies. Ooh, cookies are tough. Whoa, whoa, oh, whoa. Oh, shit. Morales, I need to see Easy you in there. my office after the briefing. I don't know why that went away. I didn't even click. Oh, what Jesus. What? Jesus. Game? Fuck. Game. Fuck, eh? You gotta uh -oh. slow that down, eh? Go, go, go I, to the... Yeah, I did nothing. That I was not clicking there. Okay, so he said, basically said, uh, I need to see you in my office after the briefing. She's like, ah, oh, shit, well, what did I do this time? Um, and... Come on, oh, George! Okay, okay. Your office after the briefing. I heard ya. Sheesh. Uh, I don't like her attitude. <laughs> the clipboard contains the notes for today's bri effing. Ding. You begin the briefing. Good afternoon, people. I'll be filling in for Sergeant Jaco while he's on vacation. Yeah, that's a real name. You advise the afternoon shift of the procedural information and announcements listed on the clipboard and close by saying, Have a safe shift and think about making right-hand approaches on your car stops. Morales! <laughs> so she's going to wait for me in my uh, in my office. Who's the shithead um, in the back? Oh, that's Officer Joseph Banks. Young, smart, and takes his job very seriously. He's willing to do things, if you know what I mean. Officer Joe Banks responds after being interrupted from his report writing. Ah, uh, gee, Sarge, I'd really like to finish this report. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll just leave him to that, I guess. You hear his All right, nerd back to sounds our office. echo through uh, the we hole. Need to, we need to go figure out what uh, what Morales did. Yeah, no um, shit. No shit. shit. No, come on. It's honey. Oh back my. through the door. Don't you just miss arrow keys sometimes? <laughs> sometimes. The uh, yeah, the perspective in the police department is really janky too. You have a serious talk with Morales. I have a complaint here alleging that you verbally are abusive to one of the violators you stopped. The complaint states that you yelled, screamed, and used profanity. Profanity, really, Morales? WTF? So what do you want from me? The guy was a jerk. Whoa. Holy shit. She is a tough cookie. 
He'd have liked to do more than file a complaint, if you know what I mean. Continuing the interview, you ask... What do you mean? All right, why don't you <laughs> tell me what happened, then? I pull the guy over, right? He's going 75, maybe 80 in a 50-mile zone. I walk up to the car, and boom! Right away, he starts eyeing me and lipping off. I'm to put up with that crap? I'm to put up with that. You ask Officer <laughs> Morales directly. <laughs> Did you raise your voice and use profanity with the man or not? Look, you try and be in a woman cop for just one day, and then tell me how to do my job. Whoa. Truthfully, I don't remember what the hell I said, but whatever it was, I had damn good reason. Okay, Morales, that's it for now. Get back on duty and see if you can keep the civil in civil servant. Sure, Sarge. Whatever you say. I'm getting the fuck out of here. You're a loose <laughs> cal- cannon, Morales. <laughs> you think about what you've learned regarding the civilian complaint and say, and think to yourself that, that, that Morales, she is indeed a loose cannon. Unfounded. All right. <clears throat> so we got to choose... Uh, what to do with the complaint that was lodged against her. Uh, either we find it unfounded, no problem. We exonerate her. Basically, we don't believe the complainant. We say that the officer is fine. She's great. Don't worry about it. Sustained, based on the interview, maybe some disciplinary action is necessary. And we sustain the complaint against her. We're undetermined. You get wishy-washy and you don't do your job. Um, in this particular case, no remorse doesn't really remember what happened in her particular case and she's been kind of a, a jerk about the whole thing so uh yeah. we're gonna sustain yeah that's a true complaint it's real it is it's a real Absolutely. complaint you leave the complaint on the lieutenant's desk all right the in out basket appears there's something in it it teleports Ooh. into it <laughs> yep. Well, someone left it in there during the very short time that I was at the briefing. You remove a requisition form for a computer access card from the basket. The basket. <laughs> All right. Time to do more administrative shit. Oh, oh good. Yeah. Police quest three. Three times. Police the office ad- quest. Yeah. Three times the the amount of administrative bullshit. That's what I'm thinking. Putting the office back in officer. <laughs> Woo! It's a nice elevator. Let's get up to the third floor. Whoa, holy shit, man. This place has really changed. I know, right? There's elevators and shit. Mike Downs is the head technician. He runs the computer facilities. Oh, look at those Behind the glass wall, dispatch is busy monitoring the police band. (laughs) This is the (laughs) dispatch cage. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, there's a there's a soundproof class. Listen, Sarge, I'm a very busy person. Unless you're here on official business, I don't have time for you. If you don't have your access card, you're out of sync, man. What? I can't let you access my data without a right authorization sequence. These desks don't spend with the right paperwork. Come back when you got the right requisition farm. So uh, somebody went out of their way to make him use random fucking like computer jargon when he speaks. I don't know <laughs> whose choice that was, but it's like <laughs> you guys do make make software, right? Like you, you just know turn what? to your left and ask somebody. Yeah, <laughs> you hand the requisition form to Mike, the head technician. Hey, no problem. You got the new mark. V model, don't you? What a beaut. I would have said five, but it's V. It goes from zero to 30 megahertz in 3.5 seconds. Oh, <laughs> my orderly. And it's got a four megabyte memory capacity. XGA graphics and five millisecond network access time. You wait for Mike to shut the fuck up. <laughs> like a streak of bad luck, he keeps the fuck going. Just don't spill coffee on it, man. You should have seen what I had to go through with the teeth that ice cream over his. Yo! Yo! <laughs> Chief Fletch and his ice cream fetish. Mike lugs your new card and places it the fuck on his desk. Okay, Bonds, here's your card. It goes in face off, pair of first. <laughs> I know that's a little hard for you, cut tights to handle, but we'll figure it out. 
I could have gone. A joke. It's a real simple man. Just boot up your machine and stick on your car. <laughs> I could have gone really stereotypical with him, but I went really, 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 Irish. really stereotypical. <laughs> you pick up the <laughs> computer. I did just for something else entirely. Yeah. Mike mumbles to himself. I'll get a second here to call the doctor, Dad. Thanks. You hear Mike tell the dispatcher. Get on the radio and tell that dimwit Banks to get that tracking device back to me. <laughs> oh, he's really cool when he's talking to <laughs> dispatch. Got it. Dispatch responds. Any minute now. I'm afraid to click. Okay. <laughs> Mike hangs the fuck up. Sure, I'll tell him. Too sorry, the dispatch needs you to drive out to Aspen Falls to respond to a call. All the other units are a kippy. Wow. See, so I'm I'm so used to playing this on my own where I don't really like, you know, voice the text or anything like that, that I am not used to how quickly this is running. Um, usually I, I end up having to mill around in the police office or in, in the, the precinct doing absolutely nothing useful for a long ass time. Uh, but I need to. You take the batteries from the box, grab a stick of juicy fruit. You take some flares and move it. Uh huh. Where are you going? And uh, yeah, I do have to move it. Uh, I gotta get to the the men's room. I gotta get to my stuff. Is Fletch gonna yell at you if you don't? <laughs> it's a possibility, actually. It's, it's a bones! distinct possibility. <laughs> Sunny Baron. <laughs> now, what was my combination? Oh yeah, I wrote it down on the inside cover of my police manual. Copy protection. Copy protection. Copy protection. It's nice to see that Sunny's hair has gone um, brown again. It's it's like a nice medium between his first appearance and his last appearance. All right, got my stuff. Nobody's taking a dump this time. Nope, unfortunately. Well, they chose a bad angle for doing that one. <laughs> <laughs> but it's and a police yeah, question. There's, there's actually a reason for the angle that they chose this time. Um, so, all right, let's head. Uh, let's head out. Where's Keith? No Keith, man. No key. Uh, in in the interest of time, we're not going to do a walk around. Oh fuck, man! <laughs> did All he right, finally two get twenty nine a- p.m. Did he, did he finally get his ass fired for people not realizing? And he uh... <laughs> he was retired, much like Laura Watts was last time. <laughs> All right. Oh, this is not this is not how I would want to drive. Oh no, this is a bad way to fucking drive in this game. You can't man. see the map. You can't see where you're going. Nope. Actually, I can I can see the map. Uh hold on. Okay. Uh. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Alright. Oh, this is interesting. Uh, there we go. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> uh, you, you're you actually really only supposed to use that... Well, I mean, you can use it whenever you like, but that's meant for when you have a, a tracker on a, on another vehicle. You can see it on this uh, on this map of Lytton. Oh, but, nice. Uh, yeah, this is also handy for just, like, finding your way around the city. Well, isn't uh, that Aspen nifty? Falls, Aspen Falls is the, uh, the park formerly known as Cotton Cove. Well, I guess we'll have to check that out. We are, yeah, we're gonna, uh, we're we're there, almost. There we go. And Maybe. park. And keys. Oh, sorry. Oh, there. <laughs> keys. And out. Holy shit. 2.45. Well, maybe, maybe we should wait for next time. Yep, we will. I'm just gonna wait until, there we go. Oh, officer, thank God. You gotta stop that man. He's a raving lunatic. Fucking teenagers. Jesus. All right, and that's all the time that we have for the first episode of Police Quest 3. Thank you very much for joining us. We'll see you again later today for the second episode. Until then, have a good one. Next time on Police Quest, Raiding Lunatic. Versus Toddler Mom. <laughs> <laughs> that's what she was. Right. The mother, mother of a toddler. Oh. Yeah.